Today, there are just four species of hyena. The striped hyena, the brown hyena, the spotted hyena, and the ard wolf. They live in Africa and Asia, but none of them live in Europe. However, this wasn't always the case. Europe used to be home to hyenas. The Eurasian cave hyena could be found from as far west as the British Isles to the far east of Asia. They were most closely related to the modern-day spotted hyena. The cave hyena's fur was likely thicker than modern hyenas due to the cold conditions they had to endure during the ice ages. It was larger than today's hyenas, with one fossilized specimen thought to have weighed up to 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. They had longer legs, meaning that they were adapted to running. They were excellent hunters, requiring regular, calorie-dense fresh meat during glacial times. Whilst modern-day hyenas have had a bad reputation for being scavengers, they are, in fact, excellent hunters and have a greater success rate than their competitors, the African lions. Their skills as hunters seem to have developed in their ancestors. It is thought that the distant relatives of hyenas originated in Europe 22 million years ago. They began life as a small civet-like animal, Pleoviverops. Over millions of years, they have evolved into one of the most successful carnivores on the planet. Although hyenas look and behave like dogs, they are in fact more closely related to cats. Over 20 million years ago, hyenas were widespread throughout Europe, Asia, and Africa. Even North America had its own hyena, the running hyena, also known as the Chasmoporthetes. This hyena crossed the Bering Land Bridge from East Asia into Canada and traveled as far south as the southern states. So, how did the different species evolve? Before we answer the question, we're thrilled to announce our new YouTube membership options. You'll get exclusive badges and custom emojis to stand out in comments and live chats. Members will also enjoy early access to new videos before anyone else. And best of all, these videos will be ad-free. No interruptions, just pure content. For our most dedicated supporters, the Wildlife Addict perk includes a shout-out at the end of each video. Now, it's important to note that our content remains completely free for everyone. The membership options is simply a way for you to help us create better and more content for the community. Thank you so much for your continued support and for being a part of this incredible journey with us. We're excited to keep growing and creating together. Now, let's dive into today's video question. The hyena lineage split into two distinct branches, the dog-like hyenas and the bone-crushing hyenas. Firstly, the dog-like hyenas. These were the descendants of the Pleoviverops, which existed as 30 species dominating the landscape 15 million years ago. The fossils of these dog-like hyenas were more numerous than any other carnivore at the time. They were an incredibly successful group of animals, having an appearance similar to jackals, but when the climate began to change five to seven million years ago, their numbers started declining. They were outcompeted by the true canids, such as wolves. And although the American running hyena developed the ability to sprint like a cheetah, occupying a slightly different niche from the wolves, they had disappeared by 1.5 million years ago. Today, the only descendant of the dog-like hyenas is the insectivorous aardwolf. This species was able to survive by adapting its diet to only survive on insects and their larvae. This meant that they did not compete with other carnivores at the time. They mostly feed on termites, consuming up to 300,000 in a single night. Current populations are found in East and Southern Africa. Nowadays, more common are bone-crushing hyenas. These had a different lifestyle and different characteristics from their dog-like relatives. The bone-crushing hyenas, which today include the spotted, brown, and striped hyenas, took advantage of the carcasses left by the likes of saber-toothed cats. One of the largest bone-crushing ancestors to have lived was the giant short-faced hyena. This was similar in size to an adult lioness and had jaws powerful enough to crush the bones of elephants. But as the Ice Age began, these huge hyenas were replaced by their smaller descendants. They became extinct in Europe 800,000 years ago, but survived in Asia until 500,000 years ago. Their smaller descendants, the spotted, brown, and striped hyenas, however, took over the niche. Each of these species had their time in Europe. When the spotted hyenas became extinct in Asia at the end of the Pleistocene, the striped hyenas spread further afield. 
They don't seem to have inhabited certain parts of the Mediterranean, but their fossils are most prevalent in France and Germany. Today, striped hyenas vary in certain characteristics, such as fur color, depending on where they live. Populations are found in North and East Africa, the Middle East, the Caucasus, Central Asia, and India. It is the smallest of the bone-cracking hyenas and is listed by the IUCN as near-threatened, as there are only 10,000 or so mature individuals worldwide. Their habitat is being destroyed, and they are actively persecuted, leading to a decline in numbers. Brown hyenas are native to arid and semi-arid areas across southern Africa. They are the rarest of the four extant species with less than 10,000 individuals left. Despite this, they are still persecuted, particularly by farmers who see them as a threat to livestock. They have incredibly low genetic diversity, something which began around 1 million years ago as their population numbers began to decline dramatically. In contrast to the other species of hyena, the spotted hyena is the most common large carnivore in Africa. There are thought to be between 27,000 and 47,000 individuals. This is the only extant member of the genus Crocuta, the same genus that the Eurasian cave hyena belonged to. Although it was originally believed that spotted hyenas and cave hyenas were completely distinct animals, new DNA evidence suggests that they are more closely related than previously thought. Evidence suggests that the Eurasian cave hyena diverged from the African Crocuta 2.5 million years ago. As they spread across Eurasia, the European and Asian populations became distinct from one another. However, these two populations were more closely related than they were to their African counterparts. It is thought that the arrival of the spotted hyena in China and Europe drove the giant short-faced hyena to extinction. Although they shared similarities, there was a behavioral difference between the spotted hyena and its ancestors. The Eurasian cave hyena was more of a solitary hunter, a characteristic that may have contributed to its demise. Whilst other hyenas were more susceptible to change, the spotted hyena was adaptable. This is likely why they are so common throughout Africa today. It evolved sharp canines in addition to its bone-crushing premolars. This meant it was able to hunt and kill its prey, rather than just scavenge for food. It could decide when to feed rather than waiting for a carcass. This changed its behavior. This species became adept at performing as a pack or clan. They developed tight social bonds and hierarchy amongst their sizable groups. They could take down larger prey, hunt for longer, and defend themselves against other predators. Their need to support their cubs meant that females became larger than males so that they could take priority at a kill site. This ensured they received enough nourishment for both milk production and their cubs. Females will remain in a clan all their lives and take the rank immediately below their mothers. Males will leave the family and either live a life of solitude or will try to infiltrate another clan. The spotted hyenas very quickly occupied a very large area of the globe, from Europe to southern Africa and across to China. But why are they no longer found there? The natural changes to the Earth's climate change put an end to their domination outside Africa, as it did with all hyenas. Habitats changed dramatically across Eurasia. Open grasslands gave way to forests, a habitat the hyenas were not suited to dominating. Wolves and humans were far more successful at hunting in closed, forested regions, and the hyenas declined. Their populations shrank 20,000 years ago, and they completely disappeared from Europe between 14 and 11,000 years ago. Luckily, they survived elsewhere. The climate and habitats found across Africa were more suited to the hyenas, which suggests why they have remained on the African continent, except for the striped hyena in Asia. As the grasslands across North Africa transformed into the largest hot desert in the world, the Sahara, animals to the south of it could no longer migrate into the north and beyond. If hyenas could migrate from their homelands today, could they survive in Europe? We believe that today, hyenas would struggle to survive in Europe. Their habitat has been transformed from the open grasslands that it once was. There would be too much pressure from humans and competition from European wolves bears, and lynxes to name a few. Hyenas are hunted by trophy hunters, persecuted by farmers, and, in some countries, killed for their body parts for use in traditional medicine and witchcraft. Their role as a scavenger is amongst the most important in the wild. They serve as incredibly important nutrient cyclers, as well as providing crucial disease management by disposing of carcasses. 
their loss on the African plains and throughout Asia could prove catastrophic for a whole range of other organisms. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.